You can see how this set up and there's no more satisfying feeling than having somewhere to work on. Getting your deck finally set in there. That is maybe besides it actually being in the water and running, but in the building process. And then what we have to do today, finish cutting out the box right here, finish cutting out the box right there, get hole braces, a couple hole braces going up the left and right, the port and starboard, and then we're gonna have the, uh, the box, that, that'll serve as the brace that goes around the fuel lines right there. Then we have to get the bulkhead for the anchor locker in up there. And then we gotta fiberglass it all in. But that, as well as a few other tasks, are it for today. We have everything ready over here on the table. We have the truck hooked up, charging some batteries. And then if I need to grind anything, I'll be able to plug it in right to that converter. But let me quit talking, let's get to work. Cool. That one's in there together. So I don't know if y'all can tell, but I have this angle just a little bit. Instead of being perfectly perpendicular with the transom, it is angled in a little bit. That is just to get this a little bit further out, a little bit more space in that box without this, you know, trying to come out here and overlap. So I had to go in a little bit. And then here, another angle, but it's angled that way. So any water will not sit right there. There's a slight angle. So if it, ha if it has to go down, It'll come down and it'll be going back to where the scuppers will be, be able to in, uh, uh, exit right up the scupper. I gotta do the same thing with the other side. Uh, there we go for that one. So there we go. Got box one and box two. Yes, there is a gap in between the hole right there and I'll be peanut buttering it in to fill any gaps. And then I'll be obviously throwing fiberglass over that. See how it fits. The front. Alright. And this should fit fairly snug. That looks actually pretty good. Flip it over. Right angle up here. That is about where I want it to be. And if this is all the way back, that is not quite how I need it. I could squeeze this. Yeah, that's actually just about perfect. And now I gotta cut another one because this is the same piece as we used over there. I gotta cut another one. I just wanna make sure it fits so I can use this as the measurement. All right, that looks nice. And I have this uh, idea. Oh, by the way, I already did that one. I'm going to screw down this top into the actual box where it's under the gunnel. So put one screw right here, then one screw right there, same on the other side, and I can cut out a nice little hatch right there, and then that'll serve as the top. these corners before I cut it. I forgot. You know, just grind them up a little bit. I'm going to do that before I finish this one. Let me do that. Just the front corners. Just it. braces to be. I had the box all the way back there. The whole brace right here would be getting away. Yeah, let's do that. So we're gonna have a box right here and then you can't see over there but I'll figure out where to go from there on out. Ooh, sorry. Ate lunch and forgot y'all existed for a second. I started cutting out the, uh, what do you want to call it? Uh, uh, the braces that go around the fuel uh, lines, I guess. I have to make this a little wider because I cut the hole right here where I should have cut it right here. But what's done is done at this point. That is just about perfect on the hole curve. Yeah, not much play there, so I'm happy with that. That's about, ooh, that's about 10 inches from outside to outside. This can be pulled in a little bit. Nine inches from outside to outside. Yeah, if we just do nine inches, 
nine inch board square, nine inch board, um, 25 and a quarter, eh, 25 inches. We should be good. All right, I think I did it. I uh, made the box. Obviously you can see the fuel box right there, the fuel line box right there, and ignore the little pieces at the bottom, but pretty happy with that how that is. And then I had this piece that I basically just had to cut a little bit off the bottom end, and it basically fits perfect for a hole brace. I don't know, pretty stuck on that. <laughs> and the box itself comes right here. So we'll have the box adding support to the stern. We'll have those braces right there in the middle, and then we'll have the anchor locker bulkhead up there at the front. And I'm not sure if that is enough, but I hope it's enough because, well, that's what I'm going to do. I feel like I have a bad habit of estimating a time for something that's really going to take at least twice the time, but we finally got the anchor locker bulkhead cut out. So it looks a bit funny. There are three pieces. So there is that piece right there at the bottom, the piece that's a little bit lighter up in the upper right corner, and then another piece that goes right here but won't stay there for the video. And those are three different pieces that I'm going to obviously fiberglass in. All right, so something that I didn't do when I installed the fuel tank was run the ground to the fuel fill, and that is what this wire is for. So what I actually need to do right now is focus on the fuel fill ground, which will hook onto a little tab that is on my aluminum fuel tank, and then I will hook it onto one of the bolts that are in the fuel fill um, where the hose attaches up at the gunnel. And obviously what that does in case there's a spark or anything, it has somewhere to ground instead of right there at the outlet when I'm like filling up gas or anything like that of my gas tank. And it'll just ground it to the aluminum fuel tank or something like that. So what I'm gonna do, because I didn't do it before I put down the deck, is I'm gonna have to fish it through. This is a fish tape, 50 foot fish tape, and I'm going to fish this line through. And one really cool thing about a fish tape is not just the fact that you can, you know, fish through your wire and whatnot, but if you go like this, listen. So that's pr that probably the main reason to buy one of these. Eh. Fishing the wire through is secondary to that really cool sound. All right, I'm gonna hit it through here first. So you probably want to use electrical tape and attach your wires to the fish line. Don't have electrical tape with me right now, so we're not going to do that. And would you look at that? It worked. I swear this was the most difficult thing, but I got it. So I got it through the hole in this stringer right here, and I had to put my elbow, my hand, all the way in right there elbow deep and I'm just you know kind of tying this on because I forgot electrical tape I'm gonna make sure that this one don't come off though because uh, I mean the other one didn't but I'm sure as hell make sure this one don't After I turn the camera off, I done did it. All right, so there we go. We'll be able to hook this, hook it up right to the um, the screw that'll be screwing through here, but on the bottom side. And it is going from there all the way to back here, and it'll be on this piece right here that I'll be just screwing it in. Same idea. All right, so I ran a bigger hole. I was able to fish out the fuel hose, the feeder fuel hose, and then this is the bilge hose. Whereas I came down here and didn't completely install the bilge, but I just wanted to kind of run the hose. You see, I ran it through that little piece that I um, cut out right there of the stringer. So I just ran under there through that little open area and then out here and obviously it's gonna be punched out right, right around there or so. pretty late, it's after seven and I'm hungry. 